In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom hover effects using the Divi page builder or visual builder. So I'll open, I've got a page open here and it's just the visual builder. I can go through and change anything as I would before. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to really focus on a few areas and we're going to add in some hover effects. The way this works, I'm going to start off with this blurb here. I'm just going to open up the settings by hovering over the gray panel, clicking the cog. And the way it works is a lot like the mobile designs. You see here, if I hover over this title, we get phone options and hover options or reset. I can turn on these hover options. So where it says desktop or hover, I can click on hover. I can even change this to something else if I really want to, like online coaching now or something like that. And this is essentially, if all you get out of this video is this one part here about finding a little hover option, that's all you really need. But we're gonna to touch on a few things you can do to really just make it, take it to the next level. You can even go ahead and change the image or icon if you have that hover icon, but we're not gonna worry about that. When I go into design, there's a few things I can do here. For example, if I go down to transform, I can actually add my hover option here by hovering next to transform, clicking the mouse pointer, Making sure I click off desktop and on to hover, I can enlarge this image and I can even move it a little bit, I unlink that, and move it up. And if I just simply go through and find a few areas where I want to do that, so the image and icon color, again, maybe I then get that hover icon, make it black. We can again think of these cool effects. So I'll switch to the public version and we'll take a look. So I've brought up the page, if I scroll down, you see we've got our online coaching here, I hover over it, it turns black, it says online coaching now, and everything changes. So that's pretty cool. That's exactly how simple it is to do these settings. But it's just amazing when you start to explore the options, just what you can achieve. So I've tabbed back on here, and uh, we're gonna sort of just explore a little bit. Again, if I want to, I can actually go down to say, design, transform, I can even rotate this whole image if I want to. I can make it go upside down, which is not probably an effect that is desirable, but uh, it could be for maybe if I go into this image, maybe when I hover over this image, I'll get it to rotate. So transform, rotate, and I just simply, whoops, put the hover option on, click on hover, and I rotate that all the way around. And find the right spot. You can also type in that here. If I go to say this blog column here, I can go to design again to transform and skew this whole thing. So I'll just undo, I'll hover over and actually put the hover on. I have a tendency to forget that. Click on hover, skew, and you can also just move this as well. Once again, enlarge. And there's just so many options we can choose. And then of course I can go to the box shadow and I don't know if this option's available. No, not for the box shadow, but you get the idea. The box shadow position, however, if I click on this, click on hover, I can move that back. And generally speaking, Divi will actually add an animation to smooth this out. So I add that in a bit more. I've actually thinned out the border, although again, Hit hover, hover, thin out the border, or crank it up even. And then on desktop, we just have it down to normal. So a whole bunch of the options here can be changed. Even if I go to this section, this entire section here, and click on the settings there and go down to spacing, I can set up hover and make the spacing say 300, 300. And then I can even do some, some other crazy effects such as this. The image sizing. I don't have the option there. But you sort of get the idea. We'll just we'll leave it at that for now. But you can see just how quickly and easily it is to, to, to just have a bit of an explore and see what's possible with this. This can be very good for buttons, making buttons larger, changing color on buttons. But you can see as we scroll down, if I hover over this image, it spins and turns upside down. And this here kind of lifts off like this, and we get this cool little animation. 
And all this is just done with that hover setting. Now, of course, I forgot to turn hover on here, but you get the idea. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a very quick video today for a Divi video, but I just wanted to show you very quickly how you can grab that hover option and just change a few settings and get some cool effects. Uh, it's it's nothing too crazy, but uh, I hope just have a, I hope to find out, have a bit of a play with it. Leave a comment below and let me know what you just, what you found, what a good effect was that you got to play with, and uh, go from there. All right, thanks for watching the video, and uh, hope to see you again in the next one. Have a great day.